Hi YouTube, today's video I'll be discussing the upcoming trends for this autumn fall 2023 in time of filming. It's currently September in London and we're having a heat wave but that's not going to stop me making this video because we all know that won't last very long and I'm excited about the upcoming trends that I've been seeing online shopping for people and in person shopping for people and myself and I thought I'd share them with you so that you can start implementing them into your wardrobe right away. Okay, first one, metallics. I am talking about glitter and denim coated in it and shiny shoes and silver and gold but as well as that there are coloured sparkly fabrics, there's coloured coated jeans, there's a lot of different types of metal. And we don't just have to wear this around Christmas and New Year time, although it is perfect for that and that is why it's coming out now. We can absolutely do this trend right away. So there's plenty out there, but how do you find the right metallics for you? You can do this on a colour analysis with me or with another personal stylist where not only will we help you find which greens and reds suit you, we'll also find your neutrals, your blacks, your whites and your metallics. We'll help you find out if you've got cooler or warmer skin and if silver or gold is a good match for that, if it makes you look healthy and good. And I know it's very personal, jewellery is very personal, some people have preferences and you may find out on a colour analysis that the jewellery tone you like isn't your best one. That's not to say you can't wear it ever again, it's just with this new metallic trend there's a lot of things that are going to be higher necked and that kind of thing and we want the best shades reflecting up but that doesn't mean you can't wear a silver shoe if gold suits you better, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about and I'm the same. Gold suits me better, I have warmer skin surprisingly, I do and I love silver, so I'm not going to stop wearing silver. I just won't wear a silver polo neck or a silver dress. I'll just keep it as jackets, shoes, accessories, earrings, that type of thing. It is good to add a bit of metal fun into your outfits. You can do that via accessories. It could be that you're wearing a block coloured outfit and a bit of metal is a good way to add more texture, more interest. It's almost like a pattern. It can be that sparkly fabric, it can just be a belt, it could be a shoe, but it will give your outfit a bit of a lift and a bit of fun. And you might want to, you know, start small, you might want to try something big like a whole silver pair of trousers or a gold skirt or something unexpected. It can be lovely and interesting. And it doesn't just have to be for special occasions, we can be pairing it with denims, we can be pairing it with basic t-shirts, we can make it everyday and casual as well. And I think it is a great fun trend that makes you feel dressed up in your own way. Preppy. So this trend is following us from last year, continuing on this year. I'm seeing it in a lot of different places. Preppy, varsity, imagine kind of like American high schools. You're seeing those high school prints like Yell and things like that across t-shirts and sweatshirts and caps. And you're seeing those letterman jackets, those baseball jackets everywhere still. We were wearing them last year, we still are. We're seeing sweater vests and cardigans and knitwear with those Vs, with those stripes. We're still seeing those and we are seeing plenty of shirts, oversized cropped shirts with that tickling stripe. We're seeing pinstripe in general, whether that's in suits or suit style trousers and skirts, pleated skirts, long and short, loafers and brogues and those kind of things. And even though it is kind of associated with high school, it works really well for workwear as well because it is still smart and dressed up and it can be professional. I know nowadays workplaces are less suit and tie and shirt, but that doesn't mean you have to stop it if that's the style you like. 
and you don't have to go all out with it. You can take bits and pieces from a preppy style that you like and make them more casual. You could be doing that shirt and that tie with a pair of jeans. You could be just taking a blazer. It could be your suit as a t-shirt, that kind of thing. Color-wise, this is quite a neutral palette. We're looking at creams, whites, baby blues, greys, blacks, but we're also getting a few winter type shades like burgundies, navies and forest greens, which do suit the winter palette, but you can still take this trend and take the style of the trend, but find versions that work for your kind of colour palettes, whether that's more of the browns and the autumnal shades, you can find that in this trend, those warm creams. Or you can take this trend, take bits and pieces if you want and go maximalist with it. Maybe it's that sweater vest, but you've got a colourful bottom on it that feels like you. Have fun with it. Most of us probably own a lot of these classic pieces, whether you bought them last year or whether you've always had a shirt and tie. You may not go to a workplace that requires it, but you might have always had it. And it is tricky not to look like you're still going to school. I find that as someone that looks young, but you can play with how you style it and what you pair it with to make it feel like your own and work for you. And if you have trouble incorporating this preppy style in your wardrobe when you want to, or you have those pieces and you don't know how to do that mesh, that is something that I can help you with on a wardrobe edit. Help you make those outfits out of those new preppy purchases or existing preppy purchases, make it work for you. So the gothic trend inspired by Wednesday, which is on Netflix, made by Tim Burton about Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. It took the world by storm. I saw it a lot on catwalks last year. As predicted, it is coming into the high street slowly but surely. It's nice to see it, especially as someone who, when I was in high school, I enjoyed playing with gothic, edgy, emo, punkiness. It's nice to see it in the mainstream. It's nice to see it being celebrated and not just like, you're a nerd. Everyone likes to see people exploring their own taste and style nowadays. That's very cool. It's a hard trend to style and I think you have to love it and really be into it if you do it. But that doesn't mean you have to do a whole costume of it, although I know a lot of people will be doing costumes of it in Halloween. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can take bits and elements of it that you like. There's black, of course, which mainly suits winters. There's lace, there's romance, there's floral prints, checkerboard, there's stripes, black and white. It's not all black. There's deep reds, burgundy reds, and that kind of thing as accents. You could be wearing that Wednesday style dress with the white shirt collar and black dress part, but you can brighten it up if black isn't your colour. Maybe you want to try it with a red tie. Maybe you want to try it with a silver belt or something that will give it a little bit of a lift and make it work for you personally. And yeah, don't have to try the whole thing. You can try bits and pieces of gothic fashion that you like and that calls to you. It could be that lace corset and you pair it with a denim jean and that feels a bit more like you. Ballet core. It's a core and it's in the mainstream and it's a lovely romantic trend and there's a lot of nice pieces from it that I think everyone can enjoy. The ballet cardigan, that crossover, it creates a really nice V, it lets the bust breathe really nicely, that might suit you, that might call to you. You could have nothing under it even though it's a cardigan, you could have something poking out under it, you could wear the whole thing open. It's a lovely piece. It's nice to see cardigans that aren't just buttons down. It may be that you have it with a matching bottom. There's a lot of matching sets around. We're seeing a lot of these kind of tops that are the body suits and they have poppers so you can get in and out of them. They're a bit annoying, but they also have their pros in that you don't have to tuck your top in. It's tucked, it's slick. There's a lot of nice colors and different necklines that you can play with. And they could be nice basics to have, a little wrap around ballet skirts, there's a lot of that kind of ballet stretchy, floaty fabric. Also skirt wise, we are seeing a few tutus here and there, not big tutus, but kind of frilly, girly skirts and they can be nice and you don't necessarily have to do a whole ballet look as I always say. You could be taking that skirt and going how can I contrast it, how can I just pose it 
Can I be a bit grungy with it? Perhaps I've got it with a band t-shirt. That can be really fun to play with. Maybe it's even having the shoes, like a grungy shoe with it. That can be really fun. Similar the other way around, you could have that ballet cardigan with, you know, a jean, something like that. And the ballet shoe, which is something that even when ballet core wasn't a trend, the ballet shoe, something we have taken from another career and made mainstream. It's so mainstream, it's never going out of style for its comfort, for its ease. It's understandable, of course, as someone who isn't five foot, it's not an easy one for me. I need a bit of something on the bottom, but I appreciate it. They're good for everyone to have in ways that work for them. And there's a lot of the typical ballet, actual ballet looking ones out there, the pink, the little bow, but we're also seeing versions with grungy straps on them, which are cool. We're seeing lots of different colors and variations of ballet flat type shoes. So you'll definitely be able to find one that works for you if you would like it. They're being paired with leg warmers and leg warmers are a hard one. I remember stealing my mum's from when she had them in the 80s. Obviously in the 80s they were big because of that whole workout culture that we were getting into. And I'm seeing them coming back and all I would say is they're nice to keep you warm, yes, but remember you're adding extra volume. So just decide if you want to have that extra illusion that it is creating on your body. Same with the arm warmers. Yeah, it's a really lovely feminine trend and you can take bits and pieces and get some nice new pieces from it. So it's a nice one. Why all the Y2K, you ask? Well, there's a lot of Y2K around and it's not going anywhere because fashion eras and fashion trends, they always work that you have the era, everyone goes off it after it's done and then it comes back around in 20 years time and it's cool again people got over it a new generation takes it and discovers it and that's where we're at right now with young people who are taking that trend and taking what i wore as a child and teenager and revamping it and there's a now a 2023 version of it yeah i lived it moved on from it hate a lot of it but there's also nice stuff from it and it's nice as an adult if you're the same age as me you might relate it's nice as an adult now with an adult body with paychecks to re-explore y2k and find it and fall back in love with it and of course the current version isn't exactly the same as it was 20 years ago it's not so bad there's lots of nice skirts that i personally like i like those slip style skirts they're not all low-waisted there's high-waisted ones too i find that they're really classic and it's nice that they have no fastenings no buttons on them they're just pull on not just for the easiness but they are very forgiving and flattering because they are smooth on the tummy you can have a top flowing over it you can tuck something into it you could have a belt covering it some people like to show their tummy which is very Y2K. There's tight tops and the short tops and in general the low waist is hard to pull off because it makes your torso look long and your legs look short so just be careful and wary of that. Same with trousers. Also be wary of the combat trousers, parachute trousers, cargo trousers of that era. They are hard to pull off. There's a lot of extra volume there being added. Pockets, voluminousness it will make your bottom half look bigger so just think of do you want that does that balance out your top half is that the illusion you want to create there were lots of other nice skirts whether it's that pleated skirt from the preppy trend that's a y2k thing whether it's that hanky hem long short kind of in that stretchy fabric that's quite nice i'm happy to see that back the frills with it, I remember having skirts like that, echoed in the tops, there's a lot of matching tops and bottoms, there's also matching tops and bottoms in the mesh fabric with a print or a plane, and those maxi denim skirts, I find they look really cool, it's nice to see them, just be wary of having a lot of fabric swallowing you up, especially if you're smaller. Does it have a slit so you can show a little bit of skin and show that you're there underneath it, is all I would say the oversized trousers again just be really careful for me that was the hardest thing to see while researching this it's really gross and still really ugly to me just be careful if you want to have that illusion of having big legs is all i'm gonna say
I'm enjoying the cardigans and mesh tops that tie at the front. They're really nice. It's nice to see them in a matchy-matchy set. It's nice to take them away from the set and wear them to occasions as cover-ups, the knitted ones, the meshy ones. They create a nice V here. You can have nothing under them. You can have something under them. They create a nice shape. Be wary when it ties over the bust if it ties and sits correctly. We don't want it pulling too much, we just want it sitting perfectly. The Y2K is here to stay, it's definitely a thread that is in all of the other trends. It's in the preppy trend, it's in the gothic trend, it's in the ballet trend, it's in the metallic trend. It's, it's a thread, the shapes and the styles you're going to be seeing everywhere. Just make sure that you're buying pieces that you like and you're not just being taken in by a trend make sure they work for you and you think you will keep wearing them because trends come and go so you want to take the best bits of them hang on to the best bits they're yours Moving on from this into shoes, you'll probably see most of the pictures that I've had next to me. A few similar styles of shoes that keep cropping up. You'll be seeing a lot of those ballet flats, loafers, biker style boots, just easy slip on shoes. I think there's a trend of ease and comfort here. And the trainer of the season is the Adidas Gazelles, the stripe. There's many different colours of them. I think they're really cool. We still have other shoes that are popular, like the contrasting Nikes, black and whites, that kind of thing. And in general, there's a lot of girly type, dolly type shoes, T-bar or not T-bar, lots of interesting flats in lots of different variations. Cowboy boots as well, lots of cowboy boots, nice pull-on easy shoes in a variety of colours. So I hope this has been useful. I hope you feel inspired to hit the shops and have a look in your own wardrobe, see what you have, see if you have anything from the 2000s, see if you have anything from these trends, see if there's anything you can find on Vinted. I hope you're as excited for the new season fashions as I am and this is just the beginning. So we will see it evolve and we'll see street style and more people wearing them, doing their own things with them. I hope you enjoyed my take. You can see the video where I talked about the actual catwalks from the fall 23-24, which has fed down to this. You can see me talking about it back there. I'll be hopefully making some videos about the fashion month coming up. And if you'd like any help shopping for these trends, I do my shopping online and in person. Or if you'd like help styling the clothes you already have, seeing if you have any of these trends, the wardrobe you have, I do my wardrobe edits online and in person too. Just letting you know. Thank you. Goodbye.